I'm here with Bob from Semi, and today we're talking all about knowledge graphs. How do they actually get the, well, Weaviate set up? Yeah, so um, there are two ways how you can do that. So one is if you want to try it out or play around with it, we have uh, Docker containers available, so you can run it even on your local machine. But if you want to uh, scale it to, you know, for big use cases, we have uh, Helm charts and Kubernetes uh, clusters ready that you can just, uh, with, you know, with the push of a button, you can run it and um, out of the box. So let's talk about the, the first case where they just have a Docker container. Yeah. How is that available to them and then what should they do with it? One of the things that we do is that we have a um, the machine learning model, so that is pre-trained, that lives on Docker Hub. Um, uh, also, uh, Weavit itself lives on Docker Hub. So you just literally run a Docker Compose up and you get everything in and then you start running it. There's really nothing more that you have to do. And uh, questions that I get a lot that people ask me like, yeah, but where do I need to train it? And the answer is, you don't. We'll make sure that's all happening for you. Um, we train it on, uh, we train on, on Google Cloud. We deploy it to um, a Docker Hub, that's it. It's just um, um, you click Docker Compose up, take a sip of coffee, and you're good to go. So all of that's made available to them. Yes. But then the second model is you know, you're kind of hosting that for them, right? Yes, that is correct. So um, we also host it for them, which to be honest, under the hood is pretty much the same thing. So it really depends on what people want. So they can use the open source version, do everything there's themselves. They can use the hosted version um, where we host it for them, or we have a model where we say like, we help you set it up on, for example, Google Cloud and run it for you. So when it comes for you to actually build that software, how do you create it such that it's available for everybody? Yeah, so there are, um, uh, there are actually three answers to that. So first we have, of course, the model. So what we do is we created a pipeline that trains the model in separate languages. So Weave it comes in a language. What we do that starts on GitHub, where the, uh, where the source code lives, and when we make changes or when we want to create a new model, because of course the data that we're getting in is also, for example, Wikipedia is also constantly growing, um, uh, we push that to um, a Google Cloud. We train on CPUs that has to do with the type of model that we're using. Uh, in seconds, we spin up this tremendously huge machine. I think we're talking many dozens of CPUs. We're talking about, I think, 800 gigs of, uh, of memory. Um, it starts to pull in all the data sources, um, uh, hundreds of gigabytes of, of source material. It does the pre-processing, it does the training, it compresses all of that into, I think, in between one and a half and two gigabytes of a model, pushes it to Docker Hub, shuts everything down, and we're done. How would you say Google Cloud has kind of helped you build that? So, um, are there Two answers to that. So first is more the uh, on, on the high level. Building this uh, five years ago, maybe uh, I mean, especially ten years ago, but maybe even five years ago, would have been impossible. I mean, it's just it's just impossible to do it. So these these dozens of CPUs, that amount of of uh, memory, it would simply be impossible. So we are a small company, we're a startup, and we can just build this. I mean, not even just once. We can do it every month. Um, so, so the fact that these tools are available to us just at the at the click of a button or uh, or a, um, a, a comment in the in the comment line, that is fantastic. More uh, practically, that is the way how Google Cloud has organized the infrastructure. So we use the APIs and uh, G Cloud a lot. So in Bash scripts, we use G Cloud, and and in other situations, we use the API ecosystem. It's just it's very straightforward and very easy to use. It's very easy to de debug, to understand what's going well, what's going wrong. Uh, releases of, of underlying technologies like uh, operating systems, that just comes all out of the box. So it's just, if I just try to think how we would have, you know, should have done this five or 10 years ago, that's just, that's, it, that's impossible, I think. So that's how it helps us. We talked earlier about how people can use Weave 8 whether they can use the hosted model or they can set it up. Yep. What were the next steps for people who are really interested in learning more about Weave 8 Yeah, so they can go to our website. That would buy, be uh, semi.technology. Um, there they can find the documentation button, and that's basically where they can get started. Um, we are represented on all um, uh, own platforms, Stack Overflow, GitHub, Twitter, well, anything that you can think about. So, And if people have questions or want to engage, then I'm looking forward to, uh, to meeting them. Well, it's really exciting to hear about the space, so thank you very much for coming in, Bob. Thank you.